Hi, this is a simple tutorial to show you how to use one LEGO Mindstorm motor using Herbie. First, run the Herbie console as usual, and we will be using one single motor plugged in the Mindstorm controller and actually connected in the A plug here. So the first thing we have to do is to create a motor control object that is an instance of the generic servo controller. So that's what we do here with the C++ like syntax and we also tell servo that motor is plugged in the A connector. As soon as this is done we can start to use this motor by using the val attribute to control its position. For example let's move the motor to the position of 100 degrees. As you can see on the video it's moving. Uh, I can also go back to minus 30 and it's executed. Uh, of course you can check the value of the current position by evaluating motor.val which is done like that and you get the current value. You see that there is a small difference between uh, the command which is minus 30 and what you see on the sensor because the motor are not perfect. Most of the time people will assign an alias to motor.val because it's the most used variable and you want a quick access. Something like alias m motor.val and then you will be able to control your motor with m. So like this or like this. You can also use motor as the name of the alias instead of m which is a bit confusing but it's allowed. There are more interesting ways to assign a value to a variable, so to a motor in Erby, using speed, time or oscillation control. Let's start with time and say I want to get to minus 20 degrees in 10 seconds. So we'll do something like assign minus 20, but take 10 seconds to get there. As you can see on the video, it's moving uh, towards the target and takes 10 seconds. I could put uh, like one hour or two hours if I want to do uh, uh, something like a clock, for example. It doesn't, uh, it, is, it is not limited. Uh, now, if I want to move back to 150 with a speed of, let's say, 30 degrees per second, as you can guess, it's like that by specifying the speed. And once again, the motor is moving with the given speed. Note that these commands take a certain time to execute and they must terminate before anything else after the semicolon is executed. There are ways in Erby to put a command in background so that you can execute other things while it's uh, in progress. Simply use a comma instead of a semicolon at the end of the command. Like for example, I go back to zero, I take two seconds, I put a comma here and I do a simple thing like a ping. So as you can see, I get the pong immediately, even if the command is not finished. Uh, if I had used a semicolon instead of a colon, uh, comma here, then the ping would be executed after the two seconds. Now, let's play with an oscillation of the model. Something like oscillate around the value zero with a period of three seconds and an amplitude of 80 degrees. Here I will use at the end, not a semicolon, but a comma, because this command, as you can see on the screen, is never terminating. It's going to oscillate forever. So if I put a semicolon, I will never be able to put any other commands afterwards. Uh, as I said, this command is never terminating, but there is a way to stop it anyway, by using the stop command and specifying no tag. So what is a tag? Uh, a tag is a name that you can assign to a command. In the previous case, there was no specific tag assigned, so no tag is the generic term to designate a non-tagged command. But if I want to give a specific tag, like my tag, it's very easy. I just prefix the command with my tag, and I will execute it again, again with a comma at the end, and then to stop it, I just use stop my tag. This is a very powerful feature. You can tag any command or group of commands between brackets with any tag and then selectively stop them later with a stop command. 
Uh, you also have freeze and freeze and block and block in Herbie, but you can see that uh, more in more details in the tutorial. That's pretty all about the simple motor control. Uh, one last interesting thing, in Herbie you can also control the motor by assigning a given speed. Uh, if you remember the val attribute of the motor object that we have created, there is also a speed attribute that you can use, like this, and say for example that I want to rotate at a speed of 10 degrees per second. As you can see in the video, it's turning. I can turn in uh, the opposite direction with a bit more speed and it's going to execute. If I want to stop, of course, I just set the speed to zero. Uh, be careful that uh, one, once you do several turns around the central value, the absolute position of the motor is probably going to increase like this to quite high values. And uh, this is perfectly normal since the position of the motor is uh, absolute. Well, that's all. You've learned how to create a motor object and how to use it to move the motor in position or speed uh, with oscillation or in a given time. Now you can learn more about uh, event catching and other U objects that are available to control sound or sensors uh, in the more advanced uh, Tribot tutorial. That's it. See you on herbieforge.com and enjoy using Herbie.